This week on The Rule, the Rule team travels to the Midwest for some more great whitetail action. First, pro staffer Chad Knoll hunts in Missouri for a whitetail buck over a cut cornfield. Then, Phil's back in Iowa, where he gets a run-in with a yoke. And he hunts the cold temper where things, well, just don't go right. It's the Rule Pro Staff at their best, and it starts now. Hello folks and welcome to this week's show. We're going to be following Chad Knoll to Robinson Hunts in Missouri as he goes on a whitetail hunt with a muzzleloader. And then later, follow me back to Iowa as well, I have an interesting encounter. You know, the Midwest always provides interesting trips. This and more on this week's show. This week's destination for pro staffer Chad Knoll is the show me state of Missouri. It's muzzleloader season, and the weather is cold. He's got a bit of a drive today, and is looking forward to seeing camp. Right, we're about seven and a half hours into our trip. Just crossed over the Indiana border. So we're probably about halfway. Chad's been driving from the Pennsylvania area straight through to Missouri. The more westerly he travels, the more farmland and crop fields he encounters. Getting close to whitetail country. No, no, cause I come from the hills of West Virginia. We've arrived at the lodge for Robinson Hunts with Steve and Melanda. We're here with them to do a, a five-day muzzleloader hunt. It's late December, and uh, we're in Memphis, Missouri. Should be a good week. It's really cold right now. Chad has finally arrived at camp. What appears to be a barn that would be found at any Midwest farm this building is indeed the base camp for Robinson's hunts. Inside, big monster trophy Missouri bucks litter the walls. All these nice trophies were taken either off property or off surrounding farms. This modified barn has been remodeled and decorated for comfort, has two stories, and independent rooms for privacy. We're out here at the end of December. Late before Christmas, I'm on a muzzleloader hunt, and it happens to be my birthday, so we're hoping that a little luck is on our side and we can put a buck on the ground today. Get some good video. Have a great week with the Robins. <laughs> We got here a little bit before seven. And as you can see, we've been seeing deer consistently all morning. Steve keeps telling us this stand's a really, really good night stand. If this is this good this morning, I can't believe how good it's going to be tonight. Anticipating the evening hunt, Chad returns to the lodge for lunch and some downtime before his return to the bitter cold Missouri weather. 
The rules of the hunt this week are harvest a healthy, mature whitetail buck, take it with a muzzle loader, and complete the task in just five days. It's now Chance Evening Hunt on stand, overlooking this cut cornfield. Being late season, this field is providing a great food source for post rut bucks. It's the afternoon of the second day of our Missouri muzzleloader hunt. Uh, we saw probably 20 deer or so this morning. As you can see in the background, there's uh, some snow falling right now. They're calling for an inch or two overnight. So we're hoping a deer, deer come out, feed, and spend some time in the field this evening early so we can get a shot at one of these bucks. The rule continues. Chad has an encounter that might be an opportunity. All this when we return. Portions of the rule are being brought to you by Quigley Motor Company. Now, go where no van has gone before. Conquest. Sense on a stick. Muddy. Serious gear for serious hunters. Mat Tracks. Worldwide track technology. Dead end decoys. It's the end of the road for Tom. Nikon. Next generation now. Aluminous products. Manufacturers of aluminum off road products. SKB. Providing the best transport cases in the world. Rage Slip Cam Broadheads. Put them down. Glendell Pre Rut. Seven times more core shooting service. Block Black. It's one tough target. <laughs> 